Uh, so first question goes to Kotso. Kotso. Afternoon, afternoon, guys. Morning, everyone in South Africa. Just a quick one to Quivers. You made your test debut against the Aussies like a decade ago. And another opportunity for you to prove that you still have it 10 years later. Yeah, um, made my debut against them in Cape Town 2014. You're right. Um, started young that in those days and still a little bit young in, in the in the bone. So it's always, always fun. Um, it's going to be a huge challenge to to for us as a team to go out there and, and put a performance on that we we are proud of. Um, so it's not anything individual. It's just the whole team just needs to needs to put a show on that our people can be proud of. Mike, uh, qu uh, question for Corbus. Uh, I'm not too sure how often you've you've played with Sasha, but what are the, the attributes you're picking up uh, from him, and and what are you looking forward to to seeing from him on on Saturday? Yeah, I haven't I haven't uh, played with him as nine and ten, um, but the whole week. He, he shows he, he's got a rugby head on him. He's a young boy, but um, he's hugely talented and, and I'm really excited for him to go out there. He's got the backing of the 22 other players and the rest of the squad here to, to just go out there and express himself and, and um, enjoy the moment. I think he's going to do well. I think there's a lot of X factor in him. Um, he's, yeah, he's going to pull, pull a few strings and, and, and create a few opportunities, I think. Steven? Uh, thank you very much, Zanzi. Uh, question for Ox. Um, Ox, just in terms of, you know, the um, scrum clock and the 30 second um, rule there, how's it been going with the, with the guys um, in training? Are you guys confident uh, that you'd be able to, um, you know, get through that no problem and have the same power in the scrums? Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, we looked at all our scouts even before. Uh, these are slight no changes, really, but we, we like we always say, we always by the way, when like way before 30 seconds. So I think it shouldn't be a problem for us. We just have to adapt. And I mean, we did speak about it and we made plans for it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just simply adapt and, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem for us. Percy? Good morning, Zina. Um, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, well, good evening. Zina, I missed your, uh, your introduction. Can I ask Afrikaans, man? Um, Percy, yes, since your hand is up next and no one else's is, yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much, Zina. Um, Kobus, um, 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 can I go for your question? Um, gewoonlik, a soortgelijke vraag soos my collega Michael gevraagd, gewoonlik jylle as een skakelpaar moet een soort van een verhouding vorm. Jy laat het klink asof jylle die week redelijk saam mekaar gewerk het. Hoe denk jy gaan hy verhouding, het jylle, het jylle verhouding nodig in een groot toets tegen die, die Wallabies? En net kortliks, wat is jou geschiedenis met die Wallabies self? Het jy al, hoe gereeld het jy al tegen hulle gespeel? Ja, um, ek denk uh, skakelpaar gaan altyd een verhouding nodig het, maar dis hoe ons hier oefen op, um, van die begin af, van die squad bij elkaar gekomen het, die ouders rijden op 15, op, op, op 10, op 12, ons is op 9, op vleel, so dat jy, jy bou jou verhouding daar, of jy net oefen en uit positie uit oefen, al uit type goed, jy, jy leer mekaar, jy leer, jy leer hoe die aan ons die kop werk, so dat, dat gaan nie probleem wees, um, soos ek gesê het, hy, hy het die backing van, van allemaal op die veld en die wat opkom, so hy kan net uitgaan daar en, en homself uitleef en en weet dinge gaan, on, ons het, as al fout kom, ons het om, um, so hy, daar da is geen worries van sy kant af nie, en van die, die verhouding tussen die skakelpaar nie, want ons oefen al langs aan mekaar, ons ken mekaar, ons eet elke aan saak. So, ja, de, geen worries daar oor nie, en dan met Australia, het al een paar keer tenle gejoel, soos ek gesê, my, my eerste game vir die bokke, en ek was ook in Brisbane in 2015 hier, het ek die laaste keer oor, ja, nee, daar het het was, ek het laaste jaar ook teenlig gespeel, maar um, ek denk dit was die laaste keer oor sê wat ek teenlig gejoel het. Justin? En Z, uh, ach, this one's for you. Um, Coach Russell, you spoke yesterday about, obviously the focus on the now, um, but 
a small focus also on the future on 2027 and building that depth for you guys as prime throwers, healthy competition to have so many options and, and having to work harder to get your starting berth and, and, and potentially even that place on the bench? No, oh, definitely. I mean, it's, you know, it's amazing to actually have the young guys come in and they, they are absolutely talented. They, they're strong, they work hard, they like very humble. So it's amazing to to work with guys like that, and I think they fit in perfectly into the system. So it's good, healthy competition, and like for us, I uh, wouldn't say I'm one of the older guys, but like it definitely does keep keep, keep me on my toes. It yeah, it's it's just an amazing health environment, and you the willingness to see guys learn just reminds you actually where you used to be as well as a player when you came in, how desperate you actually wanted to wear this remote jersey and how desperate you have to be now to actually like stay stay part of the squad and stay playing. Steven? Uh, thanks, Lee. Uh, Kobus, I'm just uh, curious um, how you feel about the uh, law um, variations in terms of the protection it uh, gives to scrum halves. Um, do you think it could um, potentially make you, um, you know, more dangerous or, or what could it, how could it help you? Um, let me rather put it that way. Yeah, I think um, we'll, well, we'll find out on the weekend how the, how the law changes affected us or will affect us. But um, I think it's cleaning up the game around the ruck a little bit, which will allow our nines to to get out one or two uh, steps and attack the line before we before we choose our option. But as, in, in some games, you don't want to go, you don't want to run anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just how you, how we plan for that week, how we want to attack, um, what exactly we want to do. But yeah, um, I'm excited to see what, uh, well, how, how quickly we can get the ball away there. Anami? Hello. Uh, question for Quibus. Uh, just in terms of the Wallabies, they've got a new coach. Um, we haven't seen a lot of them. We don't play against them in Super Rugby anymore. Um, that makes them a bit unfamiliar to us. Is that a good or a bad thing? What do you expect from them? Yeah, I won't say it. Um, we they're unfamiliar. Familiar, um, big word. Because we we do we do a lot of re research on them. We we prep how they they attack. We we learn the way they they do stuff in the game, so that we can be be prepared and and in the week pre prepare us for the game on the weekend. So even though we don't play them in Super Rugby, we do have the footage. We go sit in front of a computer, we watch guys play and and try and figure out how or what their strong points and weak points are. So it's not Super Rugby. I mean, it doesn't matter if we play Super Rugby or not. Um, I think with a new coach, um, a lot of new players coming through, they, they're going to be hugely desperate um, to get their fifth win or fifth win on, on, on in a row. So for us, we just need to have our preparation set and, and done and, and clarity on what we want to achieve in the game. Can you so? <laughs> Thank you very much, Zina. Uh, good, good, e good evening, gentlemen. Uh, Kobus, this one's for you. Um, Kobus, you've been to Australia a few times um, as either going with the Sharks or with the Fox. What makes winning in Australia so difficult for the Springboks? Hmm. Um, I think, yeah, sometimes we, sometimes in the older days, we, or a few years ago, we would look past Australia because we have maybe New Zealand after or um, we don't prepare as well because we know it, 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 there's more, more games to come and tougher games to come and we're not doing that anymore. We, we focus just on what's coming on the weekend. We don't care about next weekend or how we're going to prep or what we're going to do. We're just focusing on, on the now and here and what we need to do as a team to, to get the win um, and again to put a performance out there that, that is, is worthy of, of our people. Uh, Percy? 
baie dankie Zina. Kom ons net, uh, net een nogal vraag, een soortelijke vraag, soos my collega Annemie gevraagd, um, jy het my herinner dat jy de debu- debuut in 2014 gemaakt het, die wereld het seder dramatisch verander in die laatste 10 jaar manier, kan ek jou vraag, vir die jaar, vir die jaar, tijdens die wereldbeker, was Australië een land, een span wat afgeskryf was, jy het so pas ons genoem, dat hulle het nou een paar oorwinnings in die reen gehad, kan die springbokke die wereldkampioen de bekostig om hierdie Wallaby span onder nieuwe africhter te onderskat nie? Kijk, daar, daar was een tijd waar ons ook nie, nie te goed gedoen het in die, in die rankings en al die type uh, dinge nie, ons het een paar games verloor en, en dinge het nie positief geleid vir ons nie, en dit het ons elke keer net meer en meer desperaat gemaakt en ek denk dit is waar, of dit is waar ons voor Australië nou kan sit, hulle is, hulle is en gaan desperaat wees om die game te wen, um, so daar is nie, jy, jy kan nie altyd bepaal wat die ouwe, desperat is wat hy gaan doen en hoe, hoe sterk hulle gaan uitkom nie, maar ons kan bepaal wat ons doen en hoe ons die game uh, mentally en, en fysisch gaan aanvat. So, daar, ek het vroeger gesê, ons, ons pre baie vir hulle, maar ons moet ons self ook prepare vir, vir wat ons kan doen en waar ons sterk punt hulle heen. Steven? Uh, thanks, thanks, Sie. Um, <coughs> Ox, there's a lot of uh, chat around the um, you know, um, law variations these days are potentially depowering the scrum a bit and, and less scrums and so on. Um, you know how proud we South Africans are of, of your scrumming. Um, does it um, require a kind of a different approach to conditioning um, for props now? I mean, I don't think it's like the law variation in terms of like making the scrum 30 seconds is actually depowering scrums, but it's just like the demands obviously a bit more from the front, front rows or like the entire forward pack actually. So I think <clears throat> in any sense as well, it's, we have a lot of people talking about how the scrum is, and I've said in previous interviews before that, the most people want, want scrums into the game and they should just go watch the rugby league. I mean, there's no scrums there and it's pretty similar. But in this, I think the, they adapted while well, making the scrums a bit quicker and making sure that you know what as well like for coaches and for players as well you know for you to actually be able to come deliver your trade to show the world what you're really good at as a uh tight tight forward then you have to kind of meet the fitness requirements make sure you sit quickly make sure that the game just keeps on flowing and you don't have guys milking slowing the the ball down just because they had a disadvantage or anything so i think it's it's actually beneficial, but it just obviously requires a bit more from the forwards and yeah, and yeah, but besides that, I think the quickest teams that will adapt to the variations are the ones that are going to do well, really. Mike? Uh, yeah, for <clears throat> Corvus, another question similar to what I asked you about your combination with Sasha. Um, obviously, at number eight, you've got a, a newcomer there too. Um, just talk about your, uh, how important it is to get that combination with your number eight drives and how, how, how that will settle down quite quickly in the game. Yeah, um, like I said, the, the combinations and all of that, we all good mates and we're we a great family here. Um, so we we sit and talk. Uh, me and Eldridge just went out for coffee now. So um, the, the combination on the field it gels quickly. It, it it can gel in a week. It can gel in a day. Um, the way we train and the way we we rotate the squad and and and. So yeah, for I just tell him he needs to put his head down and scrum the opportunities we get to scrum so Oxy can have his cake. Um, okay. So that's at the his main job from the start. Okay, and then we'll take the last question for um for these two gents from Kanyiso. Thank you very much. Um, I'll just have two. Two short ones for both. Um, Ox, just uh, let me in on, on, on what you know about the state and Scrum on what you've seen, especially with the work by Cron, who's a renowned, uh, the renowned Scrum doctor. And Corbus, um, just talk to me about the prospect of facing uh, Nick White. Uh, Nick White is known to be quite the antagonist on the field, um, as you would have seen what, what happened back in Adelaide in 2022. Uh, well, for me, I think the, the Scrum is very unpredictable. But they can see that they actually want to scrum. They want they want, they stay in a contest. I mean, they they do really anything to make sure that you know what 
they actually dominate and they go forward. So I think it's going to be a, a big challenge for us. And also, given that we don't actually like, you know, we're not in the Super Rugby anymore. So we actually, like this is the first time, I think, in what, two years, or like, well, since last year, that we actually get, get to scum against them. So yeah, it's going to be a good challenge. And But like from what we've seen, they can be very unpredictable. You don't know what they're going to bring on the day, and we just have to be prepared for anything. Yeah, um, and about Nick White, he he's a great player and a great bloke uh, off the field. He likes to get get on get in your head with a sledging and pushing and shoving, but that that's all tactics to to get you off task. And and again, it's something we we spoke about. Um, we need to stay on task. We need to stay calm in the head and, and do our job. So if he plays or not, and it's not just going to be him, that will will come with tactics to to um, irritate us and, and all of that. That's the way they, they go about their game and we, we know to or we'll do our best to control ourselves. Great, thank you.